Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yvette and I am part of the 2024 Not Too Shabby Shop Design Team. Some of my teammates and I are getting together for a casual hop today. We are sharing projects featuring some of our favorite products from Not Too Shabby. So be sure to hop along and check out all the amazing projects being made today. You can follow along with this hop by using the hashtag on screen now as well as in the title of the video. Just in case that hashtag doesn't work for some reason, I will put a playlist in the description box below. I will also be sure to link to the Not Too Shabby shop in the description box. When I was deciding what to use today, I went through my stash to find a paper pad that only had a few sheets left so that I could smash that paper pad. I chose the Cooking with Love 6x6 paper pad as well as the Coordinating Ephemera. It looks like I have 8 full sheets left as well as a few scraps. So I'm just going to start cutting into my paper and make some cards. I did also bring in the Baker's Gonna Bake stamp set and I stamped out a bunch of sentiment strips that say all you need is cupcakes because I think I'm going to make these cards to use as birthday cards. I have a question for you. Do you make a New Year's resolution or two? I know a lot of us see the new year as a new start and we make all these resolutions and plan on all these changes that we're going to make. But I try not to do that because I'm not good about sticking to resolutions. For me, if it is something that I truly wanted to do, I'd be doing it already and I wouldn't wait for the new year. What I'm trying to do is focus on going through my huge stash of patterned paper and actually use them. I keep trying to remind myself that I bought these papers because they're so pretty and they are meant to be used. I am absolutely loving being a part of the Not Too Shabby Shop design team. Being a part of this amazing team has given me an opportunity to meet some wonderful crafters and they are so supportive and encouraging and I am so grateful to have them in my life.
Here are my completed cards. See how easy it was to make pretty cards with just paper and ephemera? Now I did use one stamp set for the sentiment, but if you don't have a stamp set with the sentiment you want, you can always use your word processor and print up some sentiments that you think would be fitting and just size them to fit your card. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.